Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One from the story behind Eminem's daughter's engagement. Thanks to the latest episode of the Just A Little Shady podcast and her fiance Evan McClintock explained how it went down and spoiler alert, it's not what many assumed on social media. Today we also have more from 50 Cent who continues to prove that he's not one to bury the hatchet and after a long break from clowning TI, he was back with more a few hours ago that sparked reactions on social media and we have more from Big Gip that adds to this conversation which we'll get to in a bit. Now for those who missed it, when versus battles were still a thing, a few people called out 50 Cent including old adversaries like Ja Rule and back then 50's response to Ja was this meme that he shared on social media and speaking on TI, he not only called out 50 Cent but also asked him to bring Dre and Eminem. Guess who ain't scared of your m****, 50? <laughs> Look man, pull up. Pull on up. Pull on up, man. Pull on up, 50. Bring your ass on outside, 50. Bring your records, bring your hit records with you. You and Dr. Dre and Eminem and all y'all, got them the G unit, all y'all bring y'all, y'all bring y'all ass on that. Come on, see the king. And 50 Cent clowned him for a couple of weeks back then till it fizzled out, but was back with more a few hours ago. And once again, he quoted You So Tough in the caption Laughing emoji, I said I got the best lawyers money can buy. They said would have got me 10 or maybe 9. I said, Well, how do you explain how homie breezed? They said, Keep your mouth shut or you eat the cheese. You So Tough. And he posted that with this video. I think he went up there and just got the fing talking. Innocent or guilty, criminal or citizen, that could get them any time for any crime. Say, look, if it's a, sir, did, did you see such and such and such, do such and such and such? Oh, wait a minute, only time. The only time. Mm. All right, so me and my cousin, two. We caught no gun cases, two mm -hmm. died. The lawyer said, well, you know, I can make everything go away if it. Tremels. Why admit to the after? Like, bro. I and I had a talk to that. I take all the charges you got. If you can walk away free and put it on me, goddamn right. Want to ask the authorities to give you a pass? Because I'd be damned if they gonna come and motherfucking extradite me from here. You gonna hold that in all them damn time? All this damn time for twenty something years? You gonna hold that in? What? And it finally came out. <laughs> now for those who are out of the loop, back in 2007, T.I. was arrested on federal gun charges when he reportedly gave his bodyguard cash to buy weapons when he wasn't legally allowed to own one. So the quote from 50 Cent basically insinuates that T.I. must have quote snitched to avoid at least 9 or 10 years in prison. Now why would 50 start this drama again? I have no idea. But this sparked some hilarious reactions like T.I. said, get me out this jail expeditiously. <laughs> but on the other end, some are with T.I. on this. Listen, I don't care. I'm not taking no damn charges. Call me what you want. If me going to jail can go away just to do a Crime Stoppers video or tell on the man who dead, I'm doing it. Laughing emoji. My man. Now, speaking on the debates on rappers snitching, 6 9 comes to mind for many, and more recently Ghana. But some hip hop vets like Big Gip believe this is not new in hip hop, and he dropped some names recently in an interview with Art of Dialogue. When he was asked about the Ghana situation right now, Gip believes that even some top executives in hip hop have been talking to the police for years. Fans just choose to act like they don't see it. He threw in some jabs at Jay Z over the stab incident and brought up Diddy and Suge Knight. Shug got away with so much because he had policemen with him. Puff got away with so much because he got police with him. Gip added, they gonna save the one that's the money maker and the rest of them they the sacrifice. Gip added, I'm sure if you pull some of these big rappers to the side and really had to go into their background, they snitched on somebody to stay in their positions. Moving on, before we get to the next point, Check this out for the top rap snatch hip hop albums this week on Global Spotify. It goes Heroes and Villains, Hall Loss, and The Eminem Show. I know, let that sink in. Okay, yeah. Uh... 
Moving on, when Haley revealed her engagement, it made headlines around the world and also sparked some interesting questions, as some were wondering if her fiancé had to quote battle Eminem or pass a freestyle test or something. And now, thanks to the latest episode on Just a Little Shady Podcast, we got to find out how it actually happened from Evan McClintock, who was a guest on the show. You went through the whole thing, you went through the whole process, you asked for permission to... <laughs> Yeah, what? Just like at a family, like a yeah. So what was that uh, holiday? Yeah, over the holidays, I uh, I was just looking for like a you know an opportunity not to make it too obvious. And, I didn't uh, notice, but didn't you say it was like you guys went to get like my cake or something? Yeah. This is for my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, I saw your dad go downstairs. I'm like, all right, this I got to do it right now, or I'm not doing it today. I'm gonna have to like schedule some other time and uh so i just followed him downstairs and thankfully <laughs> he was just down there grabbing your cake and that's so happen. funny see like i had no clue and so i guess we can get into that now too like that had to be scarier than anything in australia hence reactions like respect to this dude because having to ask eminem for his daughter's hand in marriage is terrifying lol that will be all for today share your thoughts below thanks for watching and see you on the next one Thank you.